O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O oh Heavenly King, Comforter and Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasure your blessings and give her life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from all impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Glory to God in the highest on earth and peace and goodwill among men. Shh. Glory to God in the highest on earth and peace and goodwill among men. And I'll show up with my lips, my I shall declare thy praise. The Lord God direct thy steps. May the Lord God direct you in this kingdom all the way this hour and ever and unto the ages of ages. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of
the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and
indeed we send up glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of
thou our God, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever. O Lord, save the pious and the heart, and unto us. O Lord, save the pious and the heart, and unto us. And unto the ages a flame of Stand fast in the faith, with you like men, be strong. Let all your things be done with charity. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanas, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. That ye submit yourselves unto such, and to every one that helpeth with us and laboreth. I am glad of the coming of Stephanas and Fortunatus and Achaisus. For that which was lacking on your part they have supplied, for they have refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore acknowledge ye them that are such, the churches of Asus and Lutium, 
Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord, with the church that is in their house. All the brethren greet you, greet you one another with a holy kiss. The salutation of me, Paul, with mine own hand. If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema or anartha. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Братья, аще глаголное ангелы слова быть известно, и всякое преступление и ослушание праведное приятность до воздаяния. Как и мы убежим от лицам не родившись спасения, еже зачало приемши глаголитися от Господа, слышавшим в нас известися, со свидетельствующим Богу знамень межбе, и чудесы, и различными силами, и Духа Святого разделениями по своей Ему воле, не ангел бы покори Бог Вселенную грядущую, а ней же глаголем, за свидетельство же негде некто глаголя, что есть человек, яко помнишь его, или сын человеческий, яко посещающий, умалил еси его малом нечем, от ангел славу и честью венчал еси его, и поставил еси его на делы руку твоею, вся покорил еси под нози его, никогда же и покорите ему всяческое, ничто же остави ему непокоренно, ныне же не увидим ему всяческое покорено, а умаленного малым чем от ангел видим Иисуса за приятие смерти славы и честью венчана, яко да благодатью Божью за всех вкусит смерти, подобаше бы ему, и Боже ради всяческое и им же всяческое, приведшу многие сыны в славу, начальника спасения их, страданьми совершите. И Духа ведь ему. Аллилуйя, глаз четвертый. Наляци и успевай, и царству истины ради, и кротости, и правды. of this holy, glorious, and all praised apostle evangelist Matthew give speech with great power unto thee that bringeth good tidings unto the fulfillment of the gospel of his beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Wisdom aright, let us hear the holy gospel. Peace be unto all. husbandmen and went into a far country 
And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandmen took his servants and beat one, and killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said amongst themselves, This is the heir, come let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their season. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord said to his disciples, He that heareth, you heareth me, and he that despiseth you despiseth me, and he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall be by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In that hour Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. O Rema Ono, O Jesus, E Dosha Narodi, Monosio Galilei, Desieti Grad, E O Jerusalem, Iudei, So Onago Polu, Jordana, Uzrevje Narodi, Narekutia, 
Blaženi i znani pravdi radi, jak u cijest zarstvije nebesno je. Blaženi i stegi kda punosjat vam, i iždjenut i rekuć jak zol glagol na vrti. i veselite se, jako mzda vaša mnoga na nje. to a feast day of St. Peter in Fribonia. So I will start off with a story that I think is very applicable to marriages, as this is a feast day that we, we have to think about God's blessing on our marriages and our interactions with each other and our lives. But we also have to then hear the gospel but there's a story from St. Siloan, whose feast day is coming up. A story that he says that there was a huntsman, a man who was paid by somebody with an estate to catch game, who loved his job. I, of course, this catches me right off guard because this happens to be my legal middle name and my English name is Huntsman. So, this is our family name, so of course these stories will catch your attention and they almost have your name in it. Pay attention. But this huntsman was <clears throat> climbing up a mountain after game and he began to just, he loved to hunt. He loved to pursue the game that was around him and he got exhausted at the top of the mountain and he sat down on a boulder looking out over the peaks and he sees birds flying from one peak to another, and he thinks in his head, oh Lord, why didn't you give me wings so I could fly to this peak? Why do I have to exhaust myself in this labor? And it just happened that an ascetic happened to be walking around this mountain, and he hears, by God's grace, the thought of this man. And he walks up to him and says, you know, huntsman, yes, it's true. If God gave you wings, you would be happy for a moment, but then shortly after that you would say, why can't I take these wings and fly to heaven? And then, having flown so high, having seen everything around you to see, you would say, but now I'm in heaven, but I don't understand anything. I can't understand it. Why can't I understand it? And then you'd say, I need to understand it. And then God would give you understanding of heaven of the mysteries, of what you see all around you. And then after a little while, even with this understanding, you'd say, why can't I be like the angels? Why do I have to be so limited? And God could even make you like a cherubim. But after a little while, even if you were like a cherubim, you'd say, why I have such a small place in heaven? Why can't I rule over heaven? And then you would say this, and you would say it like someone else we know who has said, why can't I rule over heaven? And the huntsman was sitting there and realized he had been instructed and chastised in something that was in regards to his pride, to his imagination, that he had been very gently told a story, but it was something that began to catch him, to limit him. So he became aware of how easy is it for us at times in our pride to think we need something else, that we're not confident that God has placed something that we need in our lives, that we look 
with longing somewhere else thinking, I need this. This would make me happy. This would make my life, and even if we got it, we would become discontent. We'd become unruly. We'd become almost ungrateful to God that he was trying to let this huntsman know how dangerous it is for us to have our imaginations running wild to think that we can have one thing after another because this is an indication of how prideful we are, how we miss God's grace in our midst. And ultimately, this also deals with the gospel that we read today, the story of a man who builds a vineyard, not just a vineyard, but he makes sure it's watered and has walls and he decides to leave his vineyard and lease it out to others who then will come and grow the grapes and obviously there's a set price. They will grow them and they will have a certain percentage. They will send back to the man who spent all his money and time to build such a place. This, according to those around him, would have been like a signal because this is something that the prophet Isaiah had said to the children of Israel. At one time in the fourth and the fifth chapters, he prophesies and says to them, that you, the nation of Israel, are a vineyard of the Lord, that you were blessed and given this special calling to become the place of his habitation, the place where he is the caretaker, the place where he grooms and makes sure that you're fruitful. But instead of growing the grapes that God had put in you, you actually grew wild grapes, grapes that were unedible, that were not tenable for cultivation, that you grew things and you rebelled against God. And so Christ and the people there in that time would have known exactly what he was making a story about, that he was talking about the people of Israel, about their commitment to God, the promises, the covenant, and all the things that God had given them, and then their own reaction and rebellion. He, they would have known exactly that he was talking about the prophets in their midst that came to correct, to bring people's attention back to God, to help declare. And imagine this, we don't always grasp this, but in time of Israel, even with the rebellion of the Israelites, of the Jewish people against God, we have to see that in the midst of where they were, they were so much more helped by God than everyone around them. The other nations didn't even have a clarion call. They didn't have a moment when God himself drew them out of Egypt, pulled open the Red Sea, having him walk through dry land, water on both sides, being chased by the enemies of God with the treasures of Egypt. They walk through this with God saying, now I make a covenant with my people. Now I draw you out of the world and I draw you to myself to a place I've called and prepared for you. This is my covenant. This is my promise. This is my power. Can you imagine what that must have been like? And he puts them in a nation and he begins to speak to them and protect them. The other nations were completely caught in idolatry, in darkness. They couldn't even see the light of God. But here the children of Israel have been given such promises, such help. And then we come to the most unfortunate ending. For the, even if the man who built the vineyard says his own son, that they, in their imaginations, in their pride, they imagine we can do this. We can't be happy with what we have received, but we must take. We must not be happy that we are just men, but we must have want wings, we want glory, we want all these things. This is obviously a difficult parable. But then we also understand that Christ is also talking to us because we too have been given a fruitful habitation by God, the church. We have been walked through, not just dry land, but we have been baptized with Christ and we've been raised up with him. We've had the tyranny of the evil one driven out of our lives by God's power and his grace. We've been set free and called to walk towards God for all eternity. Yet at times we let our own distractions, our own pride, our own lack of faith beset us. There's a 
many saints in the fourth century that said something that I think is really apropos for this day. These, the fourth century saints were a time when Christianity blossomed, monasticism, miraculous lives where people could live before God. We see and hear their stories of the miracles, of the great faith they had, of the great love they had for God. But they say something about the people who live in the last time. They say that even though they could do all these works, they say that the difficulties of the last time will be so great that those who live in it, if they can just keep the faith, they will surpass those who lived in the fourth century who had such faith that they could raise the dead, that they could fast on such small amounts of food, that they could pray without ceasing, that they could see birth in their midst, the miraculous, over and over again. But they say these works are nothing compared to those who are going to be born in these last times because so great will be the difficulty of keeping just the faith. And if these people will keep the faith, that they will have even the same and even greater recognition than those who had lies with such glorious miracles. This is also something we must hear in the story, that there is given to us the blessings of God in the time that we're born, but we're time and born in a time when our faith is going to be under such attack, such duress. There's going to be so many temptations to want something else, to look towards how easy it is for everybody around us, to look how easy it is for us to escape the malady of our labors. But we are going to have to be strong, holding fast to the faith as we've received it, not deviating, not giving it up cheaply, not being those who are hard-hearted, who God has rescued over and over again, who don't hear and respond rightly to God. That this has even been heard in the words of Christ. He says, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? When the Son of Man comes, will he even find faith on earth? So let us hear this gospel today. Let us understand that God has given us a vineyard of the church, of our lives and our hearts set free, have given us so much to set us free from the enemy, but we are also beset by so great of challenges and we must rise up to those challenges and have a faith that we will not relent, a faith that will not drive away from us the things that God has sent in our midst to correct us and to bring us closer to his Son. Let us hold fast in these dangerous times to such a resolve that we will not give up our faith, that we will not be like those who fantasize about an easier life and thus give away cheaply what God has spent such a great cost to give us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
And for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox depart this night before us, who hear and all the world by us, even the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Here we are in the consolation and temptation for the servants of God, especially for the ancient servants of God, the Archbishop of Juan and the priests of Sergei.
and of the Father and of the Son and of the Let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God in the union of all, let us pray to the Lord for this holy house and for those who enter with faith, for the glory of God, let us pray to the Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and give us, O God, by thy grace. Wisdom, not always being guarded under thy dominion, that we may send up glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
Our great Lord and Father Kirill, the most holy patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, for our Lord, the very most reverend Hilarion, Metropolitan of Eastern America and New York, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, for our Lord, the most reverend Kirill, Archbishop of San Francisco and Western America, May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For the God-protected Russian land and all suffering Orthodox lands, especially the Ukraine, Serbia, Kosovo, Montenegro, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Greece, Romania. May the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age.
our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. And we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and the good defense before the judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. Calling to remembrance the most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and of the Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another, all our life, unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with an all holy and good and life pretty spirit, now and ever unto the ages of ages. Love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity one in essence and undivided. The doors, the doors in wisdom let us attend. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only God, begotten of the Father before all ages, by the electric God of truth, begotten of made of one essence with the Father by whom all things. Attend that we may offer the holy oblation 
in peace. of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you Him shouting, crying aloud, and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Sabbath, oh, heaven and earth thy glory.
the sacrifice we ask of you, we pray and entreat you to send down the most holy spirit upon us. And upon we us. bless the Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, never virgin Mary. Remember, o Lord, our great Lord and Father, and most holy Patriarch Kirill, and our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Larion, first hierarch of the Russian Church abroad, and our Lord, the most reverend Archbishop Kirill, whom do thou grant unto the holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly the word, dividing the word of thy truth. And each and every one. And grant unto us that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify in him the, thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with thy Я святые помянувшие, паки, паки, миром Господу помолимся. Господи, помилуй. О, принесенный, освященный, 
Vyčes nederje, Gospodu pa molim se ja. Gospodi po njeri, Jako, da čelovega ljubec, Bog naš prijemio v svjeti pini nebesni, i misleni svor žekvenih vonji blagohanja duhovna govozni sposled nam, božestveno i blagodati dar svetega duha, pa molim se ja. Gospodi po njeri, O, izbaviti se nama svijeki od skorbi, gneva i nuždi, Gospodu pomolim se ja. Gospodi pomiri. Zastupi spasi, pomiloj se, ohrani nas, Bože Tvoje i oblagodati ju. Gospodi pomiri. Je svijeko srbešena, svjata mirna i bezgrešna, u Gospoda prosi. Angela mirna, nevjerna, nastavni krake, ni tele duši, tele snaši, o Gospoda, prosi. Prošenje, ostrepljenje grehovi, pregrešni naši, o Gospoda, prosi. Dobri i polezneni dušom našim i miromirovi, o Gospoda, prosi. Života našeg od miri pokajani skončati u Gospoda prosi. Hristijanski je končeni života našeg od bezbolezneni, nepostini, mirni, dobrog od vjeta na strašnim sudiši Hristovi prosi. Sodinjenje, vjeri, pričastnje svetaka duha isprosivši sami sebe drug druge i već život naš. Hristu Bogu predi. Sjede, Gospodi. Podobino, Vladiko, odjer za vinjem je trudjena smiti prizivati, vjeni bez ga Boga za i glagovati.
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of age. Peace be unto all. And to thy Bow your heads unto the Lord. To the Lord. Through the grace and compassions and love for mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art together with thy most holy and good and life creating Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of age. Владыка Господи Иисусе Христе, Боже наш, источники жизни и бессмертия, все Твою видимое и невидимое Содетелю, безначального Отца Сопреснасущный Сыне и Себезначальный, при многие ради благости в последние дни в плоти болтися и распнися, и погребыся за ныне благодарно и зломравно, и Твоей кровью обновил и расслевшее грехом естество наше, Сам бессмертный царю прими и мое грешного покаяния, и преклони ухо Твое мне, и услыши глаголы моя, согреши во Господи, согреши на небо и пред Тобою, и несем достоин возрительного высоту славы Твоей, прогнев их по Твою благость, Твоя заповеди приступив, и не послушав Твоих повелений, но Ты, Господи, не злобивший, долготерпелив же, и многомилостив, не предал я семя погибнуть со беззакониями моими, моего всячески ожидая обращения. Ты бы рекал еси человека любче, пророком твоим, я как хотением не хочу смерти грешника, но еже обратитесь и живу быть ему, не хочешь ибо владыка создания твоей руку погубите, ниже благоволишь о погибели человечестей. Но хочущий всем спастися и в разум истины прийти, тем же и аз, аще недостоин весим небесей земли, и сея при временной жизни всего себе повинув греху и сластем поработив, 
и Твой осквернив образ, но творение и создание Твое бы не отчаиваю своего спасения окаянный, на Твое же безмерное благоутробие дерзая прихожду. Прими убо и меня, человеколюбчий Господи, яко же блудницу, яко разбойника, яко мытаря, яко блудного, и возьми мое тяжкое бремя грехов, грех земля и мира, и немощи человеческой исцеляет, труждающийся и обремененная к себе призывай и упокоевай, не пришед и призвать и праведное, но грешное на покаяние, и очисти меня от всякой скверной плоти и духа, и научи меня совершать и святыню во страсе Твоем, я, когда чистым сведением совести моей, святынь Твоих, часть приемля, соединюсь со святому телу Твоему и крови, и имею Тебе во мне живущее и пребывающее с Отцем и Святым Твоим Духом. Эй, Господи Иисусе Христе, Боже мой, и да не в суд мне будет причастие при чистых и животворящих тайн Твоих, ниже да немощен буду душею уже и телом, от ежи недостойный тем причащайтеся, ну даст мне даже до конечного моего издыхания не осужденно воспринимать и час святынь Твоих, Духа Святого общения, в напутье живота вечного и во благоприятен ответ на страшном судище Твоем, я, когда и я со всеми избранными Твоими, общник буду нетленных Твоих благ, я же уготовал Еси, любящим Тя, Господи, в них же приславлен Еси во веки. Аминь. O Lord my God, I know that I am not worthy nor sufficient that Thou shouldst enter beneath the roof of the temple of my soul, for all is empty and fallen. Thou hast not in me a place worthy to lay Thy head, but as from on high Thou didst humble Thyself for our sake. Do Thou now also lower Thyself to my lowliness, and as Thou didst consent to lie in a cave in a manger of dumb beasts, so consent also to lie in a manger of mine irrational soul and mine, and to enter into my defiled body. And as thou didst not refuse to enter and to dine with sinners in the house of Simon the leper, so deign also in, to enter into the house of my lowly soul, leprous and sinful. And as thou didst not reject a harlot and sinner like me when she came and touched thee, so be compassionate also with me as sinners I approach and touch thee. And as thou didst feel no loathing for the defiled and unclean lips of her that kiss thee, do thou also not loathe my defiled lips, nor my abominable and impure mouth, and my polluted and unclean tongue? But let the fiery toll of thy most holy body and thy precious blood be unto me for sanctification and enlightenment and health of my lowly soul and body, unto the lightning of the burden of my many sins, for preservation from every act of the devil, for the expulsion and prohibition of mine evil and wicked habits, unto the mortification of the passions, unto the keeping of thy commandments, unto the application of thy divine grace, under the acquiring of thy kingdom. For not with disdain do I approach thee, O Christ God, but as one trusting in thine ineffable goodness, that I may not, by much abstaining from the communion, become the prey of the spiritual wolf. Wherefore do I entreat thee, for thou art the Holy, Holy One. O Master, sanctify my soul, my body, my mind, and my heart, my belly, my inward parts, and renew me entirely. And implant thy fear in my members, and make thy sanctification inalienable from me. And be unto me a helper and defender, guarding my life in peace. God, saving me also to stand at thy right hand with thy saints, through the intercessions and supplications, thy most pure mother of thine immaterial ministers and immaculate hosts, and of all the saints who from the ages have been pleasing unto thee. Amen. Едини чистый, нефленный Господи, за неизреченную милость человеколюбия, наши все восприемы смешения, очистых и девственных кровей, пачи естества, росшая тя, Духа Божественного нашествием и благоволением Отца Пресносущного, Христе Иисусе, при мудрости Божия и мире и силам, Твоим восприятием животворящее и спасительное страдание восприемый, крест, гвозди, копия, смех, умертвимая душетленная страсть и телесная, погребением Твоим адово пленивый царствие, погреби моя, Благими помыслы лукавое советование и лукавствие духи разори. Тридневным Твоим и жеоносным воскресением падшего про Отца восстаивай, восстави меня грехом пополшегося, образом непокаяния предлагая. 
преславным Твоим вознесением в плотское обоживы восприятие и сие десным Отца сидением почты с подобиями и причастием святых Твоих тайн детскую часть спасаемых получите с нитием утешителя Твоего Духа сосуды честно священная Твоя ученики соделывай приятелищи и мне покажи того пришествия Хотя и паки прийти, судите вселенную правду, благоволи и мне, усрести тебя на облаце, судью и создателя моего, со всеми святыми твоими, да бесконечно славословлю и воспеваю тебя с обезначальным твоим отцем и пресвятым и благим и животворящим твоим духом, ныне и пресно, и во веки веков. Аминь. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who alone art authority to remit the sins of men, do thou, as the good one and lover of mankind, overlook all mine offenses, whether committed with knowledge or in ignorance, and vouchsafe me to partake without condemnation of thy divine, glorious, immaculate, and life-giving mysteries, not as a burden, nor for punishment, nor for an increase in sins, but under purification, sanctification, and as a pledge of the life and kingdom to come, as a bulwark and help for the destruction of enemies and for the plotting out of my many transgressions. For thou art a God of mercy and compassion, love for mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory. For the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Вем, Господи, яко недостойный, причащаюся, причистого Твоего тела и честное Твоей крови. И повинен есть им, и суд себе ямы пью, и не рассуждая тело и крови Тебе, Христа и Бога моего. Но на щедроты Твоя дерзая, прихожу к Тебе, рекшему, я дымаю плоть, и пияю мою кровь, во мне пребывает, и ась в нем. У милосердия, Уба Господи, не обличи меня грешного, но сотвори со мною по милости Твоей, и да будут мне святая сия в исцеление и очищение, и просвещение, и сохранение, и спасение, и во освящение души и тела, в отгнании всякого мечтания и лукавого деяния, и действия дьявольского, мысли не будет всех моих действий моего, в дерзновении и любовь я же к тебе, в исправление жития и утверждение, возвращение добродетелей и совершенства, в исполнение заповедей и Духа Святого общения, в напутие живота вечного, в ответ благоприятий на страшном судище Твоем, не в суд или во осуждение. From sullied lips, from an abominable heart, from a tongue impure, from a soul defiled, accept my supplication, O my Christ, and disdain me not, neither my words, nor my ways, nor my shamelessness. Grant me to say boldly that which I desire, O my Christ, or rather teach me what I ought to do and say. I have sinned more than the sinful woman who, having learned where thou wast lodging, brought her and came daringly to anoint thy feet. My God, my Master, and my Christ, as thou didst not reject her, who when she drew near from her heart, neither, O word, can thou be fouled, filled with loathing for me, but grant me thy Amen. With the fear of God and with faith draw me.
thy holy, divine, immortal, and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in thy holiness, that we may meditate on thy righteousness all the day. Having partaken of the holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, Lord. save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commit ourselves and one another in all our life unto Christ our God. them that bless thee, sanctify them that put their trust in thee, inheritance preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify them that love the beauty of thy house, do thou glorify them by the divine power, and forsake us not that hope in thee, give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, and to all thy people, for every gift and every perfect gift cometh down from me, the Father of lights, and unto thee do we send up glory. Thanksgiving, worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of age. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from its first and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from its first and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from its first and forevermore. Sing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and compassion and love for mankind, always now endeavored unto the ages of age. Amen. Glory to thee, Christ God, our hope, glory to thee. Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead through the prayers of his most holy mother, through the prayers of the holy, glorious, and all-praised apostles, through the prayers of Saints Peter and Fabronia in monasticism, David and Ephrosine, through the prayers of Saint of the Archangel Michael and the Miracle of Cana, through the prayers of Saint John of Shanghai and San Francisco, Saint Herman of Alaska, the holy righteous answers to God. Your king and on and all the saints, have mercy on us and save us free as good and a lover of mankind. Spraznikum. Spraznikum. Tomorrow night we have the feast of the Mother of God for the Nativity of the Theotokos at 6.15 and on Tuesday morning is it a 9 a.m. liturgy? The last feast of the year is the falling asleep of the Mother of God. We come into the church new year, and then we are greeted by the beginning of our salvation with the nativity of the Theotokos, the full circle of God's help for us. Please join us as we celebrate this beginning first feast of the new year, but also 
the birthday of the Mother of God, who's been so kind and gracious to our parish, has taken care of us and is so quick to hear our prayers, even when we don't see it. So may God help us and keep us safe. On uh, Wednesday night, uh, there'll be an Akathist and a Malabin at 6.15. Is there any other announcements? We have to wish God grant you many years to all the Peters, the Fribonias, Elizabeth and Michael. And Elizabeth and Michael. Okay. Anyone have any Slavas recently? Or names days? Birthdays? Okay. Um, another announcement. Our chandeliers will be coming in this week, God willing. And um, we'll, we'll need people with pickup trucks to help. If anyone has a pickup truck, we have to get it at the airport. So I know Father has one, and my father has another one. We might need three or four of them. So if uh, anyone um, uh, can help with that, please come see Father or myself after the service. If you happen to have a large flatbed truck and a couple strong lads, we'd really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. A prosperous and peaceful life, good health, success in all things. Grant, O Lord, unto thy servants, Michael, Elizabeth, Peter, and Febronia, and preserve them for many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many years. God grant you many, many years. No.
yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet that one. Любие мирови, сокровища снизка, высоту нам смиренно мудрее показа, но твои имя слове сына казуя, отче Иоанне Златоусти, моли слово. Христа Бога спастися душам нашим, слава Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу, от небес приял еси божественную благодать, и твои имя с нами вся, учи, учиши, поклоняйтесь в Троице единому Богу, в Иоанне Златоусти все блажения, преподобнее достойно хвалим тебя, и сиба наставник, яко божественное являя, и ныне пресное, во веки веков, аминь. Предстательство христиан непостыдное, ходательство ко дворцу непреложное, не презри грешное моление гласы, но предвари, яко благая, на помощь нас, верно зовущих ти, ускори на молитву и почися на умоление, предстательствующий присно, Богородица, чтущих тя. Господи помилуй, 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 Господи помилуй. Слава Отцу и Сыну и Святому Духу и ныне присные во веки веков аминь. Честнейшую Херовим и славнейшую без сравнения Серафим без исления Бога славоручую сущую Богородицу тебя величаем именем Господним благослови Отче. Аминь. Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй, Господи помилуй.